The floodwaters tropical storm Paeng left in many places in Bulacan that have yet to subside are a major aggravation, keeping hundreds of people from direct access to their places where their loved ones peacefully lay. Then again, where there's a will, a way will always present itself to those creative, resourceful, and persistent ones as we hear more from our Clazel Pardilia. This is not a pool. This is the front of a private cemetery in Malolos, Bulacan, submerged in water due to heavy rains brought about by the tropical storm Paeng. To enter the memorial park and pass through the needy flood waters, an improvised bridge was placed on the entrance. Inside the burial site, gutter deep waters to greet the visitors. Flooding in some areas have subsided, but the mad remains and are a major hassle for those on foot travel. However, all this did not keep the Santos family from visiting their deceased grandfather. Kumain nga po kami kayo na parang picnic na rin po. Oo, picnic kahit na puti. Apo, nakatayo na lang po. Mahalaga po, nakasama namin. Yung napayapa niyo po. A power line is installed underground. That is why the Legacy Memorial Park Management advised the cemetery will be temporarily closed tomorrow, November 1 until November 2 as a precautionary measure against floods. Many foods and flower vendors outside the cemetery were devastated by the news. Like Baby, who's been saving for her son's return to face-to-face -face classes this week on Wednesday. Sayang naman nga eh, dapat kumikita na kami. Kasi bumagyo eh. Tapos tingnan mo, may tubig pa. Paano kami makakabenta ng maganda? In a nearby cemetery, torrential rains flooded most of the tombs. Still, visitors insisted to light candles and offer flowers to their departed loved ones. Lumubog po ang aming tito, so, okay, bali, medyo nakakalungkot lang pero tutuloy pa rin namin bumisita sa kanya dahil malapit siya sa amin. Mukhang hanggang bukas, ganito yung kalagayan. So, baka magdala ng bota. Tapos mga, hindi na, hindi na siguro mag stay ng sobrang tagal. Kalei Zalpardilia for the Nation.